you like pure become a serpent at one point, or do you think after this whole farm thing, she could possibly become a serpent? I mean, anything's possible, and I really have this strong feeling that Betty, or Polly, really isn't that pure. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, but that would be really interesting to kind of like explore that. I mean, I feel like Polly's gotten wrapped up in so many questionable things that hopefully she doesn't. Yeah. But that would be really fun. fun. That would be really fun to play. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hi. Hey. Um, my question is, what do you do on like days like when you're feeling really negative or really bad? Like, what is your pickup? Hmm. That's a good question, especially like in. I mean, I guess in any industry that happens. Um, a big thing for me that I always try and do when I'm when I'm having those those days where I'm not feeling good is to just do, do something that that I enjoy, whether it's like going for a walk with my dog or like spending time with a friend or like watching a really good movie or, and for me, something that always kind of picks me up is doing something active, whether it's like a half an hour walk, you know, in nature or going to do a workout class because that always kind of just like gets me out of my head, into my body, because that for me, a big thing is I find when I'm like in those moods, if I just kind of like sit in it, it'll just like fester and get worse. So if I like do something active to get myself out of it, it usually helps pick me up a little bit. Hello again. Hi. <laughs> so my question is, what inspired you to be an actress? Hmm. So I started acting, I got scouted by an agent when I was seven. And so I started doing commercials as a kid and kind of continue doing commercials and my parents didn't really know if it was something that I was going to want to continue to do or if it was, you know, going to be a hobby or something that I only enjoyed like when I was younger. Um, and it wasn't until I was like 12 that I started studying at this acting school in Vancouver on the weekends while I was still in regular school that I really fell in love with like studying and acting and and doing more difficult stuff than just commercials. And that's when I was like, oh, I think that I like, really want to do this. Um, and that's kind of, because at the time I was also like still in school, I was playing sports, I was doing a whole bunch of things, and that's when I started to like, really like hone my focus on acting and put you know, all of my energy into that. Was there any particular actors or actresses that inspired you to do it once you started? It's interesting, at that time, not Really, there. I mean, there is now. I was always inspired, not necessarily by anybody famous, but at that time, because I was, you know, so young, I was more inspired by the people that I was taking classes and acting with, you know, and seeing them be vulnerable and, you know, face fears and overcome hurdles in their craft. And so, for me, being around that energy and those people, that's what really inspired me. Of course, I've got actresses that inspire me now. But at that time, it was mostly just the people that I was working with. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey, um, what's five words to describe Polly? Mm, misunderstood. That's always the first one I go to. Um, misunderstood. Caring. Strong. Independent. Confused. <laughs> She's a little confused. <laughs> hey, Tiara, I'm going to come out here. I'm, I'm liking all these questions. I'm going to come and help you answer them. Are you going to like my answers? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> when they ask a question, I'll whisper the answer. <laughs> That's what dads do, right? Hey, what's going on over there? That's a good looking shirt. Thank you. Do you know if there's going to be any new people on Riverdale in season four? Do we know if there's going to be any new characters? New characters? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said your answer. <laughs> really? really? <laughs> I have no idea. I, I really don't know anything about season four. I don't really think any no. of us do. But we never know from episode to episode. Yeah. To tell you the truth, honestly, I can tell you guys, I'm not even sure if uh, 
the Black Hood slash Hal Cooper is even dead. I, I know it looked like it, but there was no body seen, right? Did you guys see a body? Or did you just hear a gunshot and then Lily freaking out? Yeah. Ponder that one for a while. And we'll answer this next question. You have two questions or one? Okay. You scared her away. I know, I scared the hell out of her. Why are you still here? And I didn't even have my hood on. Wait till I put my hood on later. I was just wondering, how long does it take to film a season, and what is the like time that you go in, and how long do you work till? So, call times and, and end times. Um, what, how many months do we film a season? Like ten? Well, like like how many months is the whole season? Yeah, it's almost like ten, ten months. months. Now, yeah. yeah, it goes from beginning of July until the beginning of April. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, like yeah, nine nine to ten months. Yeah. Um, and the days kind of depend, like if you're in all day, every scene, it can be long, like 16 hour days. Once you like drive there in hair and makeup, then film the whole day, get home. Um, yeah, they, they're really long days. I mean, there's some days where you're only in one scene, so you're like just there for a couple of hours and then go home, but usually they're quite long days. We shoot um, eight day episodes, it's just the main unit. And then just for the fact that we have such a, an abundance of cast on our show, and so, you know, things take a lot longer the more cast that are on, on that day, the fact that they have to light everyone in the scene, and it's just, it's just grueling. And um, so they added a second unit onto our show, so we're always doing tandem units, you know, so um, now the shows have become sort of like 10-day episodes, and... Um, like Tara was saying, you know, how, how schedules work is it you start as early as you can on Monday, and then as the week goes along, you have to have turnaround time uh, in between work. So let's say Monday you started at 6 a.m. and you wrapped at 8 o'clock at night. Well, you can't start the day on Tuesday until 8 in the morning. Now you're going from 8 in the morning until midnight, or the next day you can't start until 12 in the afternoon and so on and so on. So how it breaks down is that in the schedule they look at what day stuff they need and what night stuff they need and everything for the nights always ends up Thursday, Fridays. And so and basically, yeah. 3, 4, 5 in the morning. Yeah, so we call, in the film industry, we call Fridays, Frater days because they're basically a Friday and a Saturday wrapped into one and then everyone goes home, <laughs> sleeps on the Saturday, you get Sunday off and then you're back at it Monday morning. So that's really how the schedule works. Yeah. You up? Um, what do you think it would be like if you were cast as Betty and Lily was cast as Polly? Well, I'd be a lot busier than I am. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know. That would be weird. I'm I'm so used to the other dynamic that I'm I'm did, not sure. Did you ever read for Betty? Yeah, yeah. like like five times. Did you? Yeah. And then my last one, I got too overexcited and I totally bombed it. And then they brought me in for Cheryl. And then I was like, this isn't going to work. Um, I read for Fred. That's, how, that's wow. the part I read for. Wow. I read for Fred, and then, um, and then when Luke stepped in, they asked if I'd be interested in playing Hal Cooper, and I had no idea who that was. <laughs> You're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I said, who's Hal? I, I sort of remember now that I started playing him, I remember him in the, in the comic book, but I wasn't too sure because I, at that point, I mean, the writers never give us the scripts, let alone the pilot script. So, I and nothing's like the comics, anyways. Yeah, yeah. it's just the name. Yeah, you would have been a great Betty. You would have been a great Cheryl. I would not have been a great Cheryl. You suck as Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you sent me away. I understand. I get it. <laughs> Thank you. So you said you were a fan of the comics as a kid. So who is your favorite character in the comics? I was always a Betty fan, which is again why I think I got so overexcited. Um, but I, yeah, I like went through a summer where my dad would drive me around to a bunch of used bookstores and I would just like collect stacks of Archie comics and read, like, read them all day long. So, yeah. Thank you. If you guys could be on any other show on TV right now, what would it be and why? Oh. <laughs> oh, I just watched season... Two. I have no idea who I could possibly play, but um, of the marvelous Miss Maisel, J 
just to work with Rachel Brosnahan because she's so incredible in that. Just to be some part of that weird family would be so cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. I think I'd like to be on Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. How much fun would that be? So much fun. I'm much funnier than I am dramatic, believe me, guys. I know y'all think I'm the black hood, but man, if I could, it's all I could do every day when I'm riff on Riverdale not to make that a comedy. Yeah. It's like, you know, you're supposed to be a scary serial killer guy, right? And I'm like, I don't know. Wouldn't it be funny if I tripped while I was chasing the hook and then the hook stabbed me in the stomach? And, like, that's comedy, right? That'd be funny. The hook, how we about the hook? We should be Brooklyn and I together. God, when I read that one, I'm like, I have a hook now? Jeez, man, what's next? Like a peg leg? I had to break out of the, I had to break, when I broke out of the prison, I had to saw my arm off to get out of the bus. The, the bus, a bus crash. I've watched the show, I totally know about it. Uh, Tara, Tara shoots another series in Toronto, Canada, uh, that'll be out uh, pretty soon. And so okay, she's been busy. She, she used to fly back and forth from Toronto. So um, so I always have to catch her up on what's going on in Riverdale. Yeah, now, so. <laughs> yeah I, I was in a bus crash. Oh, yeah. wow. And it broke out. Like and I have a hook. Style. What's that? Style. Yeah, it was totally. Well, see, here's the funny thing is, is that I think the hook is a bit of a, a, a homage to um, I Know What You Did Last Summer, right? Kind of. Yeah. And the funny thing is, and you guys are pretty young for this, maybe the parents will know. So I did a movie called Scary Movie. I don't know if you saw it. So basically, in that movie, I just kind of um, spoofed Ryan Philippi from I Know You Did Last Summer. So now I've got two spoofs going on I Know You Did Last Summer with my hook now. So what's next? What's Jennifer Love Hewitt doing? I think I'll spoof her now. Yeah, exactly. Good? Yeah, I th you, you get to go and... Um, do some meet and greets, I think, right? Uh, so, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh. Tierra Scobie, everyone. Yeah. I want to give you your own outro. Thanks, Thanks Tierra. We'll see you in just a bit. Okay, one second, guys. I just have to get my... I Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. I'll talk to you from back here. One second. I wasn't prepared for this. I'm coming back, guys. I'm coming back. I had to get uh, directions from my boss. Okay, so uh, next up is going to be a game that you guys get to uh, be involved with called the Yes No Game. And I will, uh, I'll just be up back and forth on the stage. I'll be over at uh, Mark and I have these tables set up to, to meet you guys, sign some stuff. Uh, and then I'll be introing more guests as we go through the day. And uh, there's lots of games to be played and lots of interaction with everything. So, uh, so enjoy yourselves, keep the energy up, and uh, we'll keep rocking and rolling, okay? Everyone good? All right, cool. I'll see you in just a bit, guys.